UW researchers have created a new toothbrush to keep you out of the dentist chair. Four years in the making, the old trio is different than any other toothbrush on the market. The main difference is that we have an ultrasonic transducer. The little silicone part of the toothbrush head um, makes ultrasonic waves that activate the bubbles and then the bubbles do the cleaning. So you get the toothbrushing part that's actually the teeth, the brush, bristles contacting the teeth cleaning like regular toothbrushes and then the Ultreo um, uses the ultrasonic part to clean beyond where the bristles can reach. Dr. Frank Roberts along with other UW faculty and alumni created the toothbrush. It was a really excellent group of people putting it together and their, re their interest from the beginning was to make a better toothbrush and it was really nice to be part of that where that was the goal. The goal wasn't you know make as much money as you can, the goal was actually let's make the best toothbrush we can do. The old trio has many unique features. Um, the nice thing about this toothbrush is you actually don't have to brush with it, you just hold it in the area that you're cleaning and move it around the mouth slowly and it does the cleaning for you so it's a gentle uh, a gentle way to clean the teeth and it is very gentle. The auto shutoff feature helps deter overly aggressive brushers. A lot of kids kind of skip going to the dentist while they're in college or they're in, you know or in their early years when they're paying for their own dental care after leaving home and um, they come back and they've had problems with brushing too hard because Part of it is that if they're not cleaning between their teeth, if they're not using something to clean between their teeth, they don't feel clean and so they're trying to scrub the heck out of their teeth to get them clean and really what they what you want to do is have your teeth cleaned well professionally and then you're keeping them clean gently in between appointments with flossing and brushing. But if you're scared to go to the dentist, the doctor has some tips. It's probably important to have a pre-meeting with the dentist before you're going to get some care done to meet and see if they're a person that matches with you personality wise and you feel comfortable with. I think that's uh, if a person that's really scared of the dentist it's probably nice if they go in and they're not getting their tooth drilled that day or whatever. They could go in for a checkup or something but if that makes them nervous then I would say meet them first and see if it's going to be a good match. Reporting from the University of Washington, I'm Stephanie Smith for the Daily Videocast.